Hello everyone. I'm Ruchi Bharani and in today's episode I'm going to do a nice colorful quick dessert called the trifle pudding. This is my cheats version of trifle pudding because I'm going to use a lot of shortcuts. I have 1 cup of milk, 1 and a half tablespoon of custard powder, 2 tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of pineapple essence and color, 3 pieces of vanilla sponge, tin pineapple chopped, strawberry crush, strawberries, kiwi orange veggies strawberry jelly and some whipped cream so the first step is to make the custard i'm going to cheat and use custard powder since we are not going to use uh, eggs so first i'm going to just pour in a little bit of milk not all of it i'm going to mix in my custard powder i didn't add all the milk at one go that's because the custard powder won't mix properly and cause lumps I'm also going to add in my sugar. And mix this well before I turn on the flame. Break all the lumps properly and now I'm going to add in the remaining milk. I'm going to turn on the flame now. Make sure you don't turn on the flame till you mix all the three ingredients that is the milk, custard and the sugar properly. Otherwise immediately it's going to form lumps. My custard has become nice and thick. Mix it properly. I'm going to turn off the flame. And I'm just going to add a little bit of pineapple color and essence. It's mixed in this. It's optional if you want to add it, you can add it. So it gives you a nice yellow color and plus gives a flavor to the custard as well. I'm going to let this cool. Till then I'm going to chop up my fruits. Just chop them onto big chunks. Maybe half an inch. This recipe makes around 2 to 3 helpings. That's enough. I'm going to chop up some kiwi. Again in big chunks. You can throw in whatever fruits that you like. All different colorful berries, apple, pear, anything that you like. I also have a few orange veggies which I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces. And I also have some tinned pineapple that I've already chopped. I don't like using fresh. I'm also going to chop up some vanilla sponge. You can use any kind of cake that you like. You can use cupcakes or any other flavored cake that you want. So I'm just going to use ready-made ones. As I told you, I'm going to use some shortcut. So all my ingredients are chopped up and ready to assemble. Uh, I'm going to pour in a little bit of custard before that. So for custard, while it's cooling down, if you feel that it's a cup too thick. just add in a little more milk and stir it because don't let it set outside till we refrigerate it because i don't want a very thick custard so the first layer in my serving bowl i'm going to pour in a little bit of custard say around 2 tablespoons the next layer is the sponge cake so i'm going to nicely arrange the pieces my cake again another layer of custard all over the sponge cake
Next, I'm going to drizzle some strawberry crush because I'm going to use a lot of citrus fruits which are not very sweet. So just drizzle it around the edges so you can see it through the transparent bowl. Not too much because it's too sweet. Next, I'm going to throw in my fruits. Strawberries. Kiwi. Oranges. And some pineapple. I'm going to decorate it with a little bit of whipped cream. I've filled up the whipped cream in a piping bag and I have a big star nozzle. Just making some small flowers with the cream. I have a scooper here and I've already set some jelly. Just going to cut out some nice round jelly balls and top them up. If you don't have a scooper, you can always chop up the jelly into square pieces and layer it on top. I'm also going to drizzle a little bit of strawberry crush over the whipped cream because it's not too sweet. Also adjust the sweetness of the custard according to your taste. Let the trifle pudding set in the refrigerator for at least 30 to 40 minutes before you serve it and enjoy it. Can't get easier than that and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.